All right, my friends. So with the release of Mac OS 10 Catalina, which just came out recently, if you're watching this the moment I upload it, one of the biggest features, one of the standout features, the one that a lot of us were waiting for was Sidecar. And Sidecar was one that was designed for those of us that have an iPad. And I have an iPad Air third generation right here, which was one of the reasons I bought it was so that I could use it as a external display along with my MacBook. My MacBook's right over here. There's my MacBook right now. Catalina came out and it's a 2015 MacBook Pro, plenty of power. Catalina came out and they said you needed a 2016 MacBook Pro to be able to use it. So this feature wasn't gonna work for me. And that was sad. So, so sad. And I don't wanna go out necessarily and buy a new computer. I'd like to, but I don't want to. So what do I do? What do you do? What do you do if you have an older computer and an iPad and you'd like this to work or even an iPhone and you want this to work? Well, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do right now. All right, my friends. So first off, you know, if we, if we go online to the interwebs, the internet, because there's stuff up there their stuff. This is this is the site we're looking at and it's Duet. They make an app. So be twice as productive. X Apple engineers turn your iOS or Android device into high performance second display for Mac. So this isn't free. This isn't something that comes as part of your system. But for those of us that want that feature, it's here. So you this part of the software, what you're seeing on the screen here, this part of the software here, this is the computer side and that part's completely free. Okay, that part's free. Now, if you go on to right here, for instance, on your iPad in the App Store, so if you go to the App Store, hopefully you guys can see this, and just do a search for Duet, you will come up with Duet Display. Now, one of the big things now, as of now, because of Catalina being released so recently, they've half the price. So if I were to click on that, you'll see 50% off for a limited time. Hopefully you guys can see that. When is that limited time done? I don't know. I don't expect it to be forever. Here in Canada, I think I paid 12 bucks or 12.99 or something like that. Probably the $10 mark for my friends in the US. 4.2 stars. So 4.2 for this and and I'm going to have to agree. I think it's fantastic. Number 1, basically all you have to do is here's my iPad. I'll just show it to you here for a second. Here's my iPad and we'll close this screen. All you're going to do here is my Duet software. I don't know if you can see it up top here, this little D, right? There it is. Now, I've already connected this once, and we're going to have to connect this again. Now, I want to show you this before I turn this on with either a lightning cable or the old 30 pin. Now, we're going to use a lightning cable, of course. But if you go into this advanced settings, you will see that there's this air, enable Duet air, right? And remote, okay? There's these features. Now, if you want to utilize these features, uh, anything out of just the standard display, it even talks about, like I think it's pencil support. Uh, as far as I can tell, you need to actually go in to into the app on, on your iPad or your iPhone or whatever it is. You have to go to this pro. So this pro feature right here, you'll see that it says everything into it comes with Duet Air, everything in Duet Display, but designed for professionals. You can use the iPad as a wireless display. You get remote desktop, pixel perfect rendering, monthly updates and upgrades, priority support. So kind of cool. 30, almost $30, $26 a year, one week free trial. Or you can go to the Duet Pro, and this basically has everything that the other ones have, but it says iPad as a professional drawing tablet. So you're gonna get everything in the Duet Air, designed for digital artists, pressure and tilt sensitivity, customized rendering engine, personalized pressure curve, color correction, pressure and stroke, pixel perfect, monthly updates, priority service, $41 a year. Is it worth it? If you're, if you're someone that wants that, then yeah, for sure. Now for me, I don't know if I would do it because I really am just looking at this as a secondary display. So not a huge thing. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you one more thing before we get into it. How about this? So this here, which 
is super awesome. And I got this off of Amazon. I think it was, I'm just bringing up Amazon right here. I think it was like $14 or something like that. It's called the Dockham Duo Screen Laptop Mount. And it, there it is right there. So you can see that, how it hooks up, right? Like that, voila. It's got uh, about a three and a half star. I, I'm gonna give it like pretty much full marks because I think it does everything that I need it to do. You know, some of these that are giving it low marks like this one, I'm going to return it. Even though it's hold tight, it's just a bit too bulky. Well, you can't have something too thin or else it's not going to be able to hold it. So I don't, I don't know if I agree with that one. Other than that, you know, works well so far. Product is useful. Could have been designed better. Then you design it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, I'll put a link down below for you guys to see this if you so want to, because I think it's very cool. And what we'll do is I'm going to actually hook this up. And if you had multiple, like you can see here, right, you could actually hook up your iPhone to it or your iPad, whatever you're carrying around. Oh, it went up a little bit. So it's $17.99 right now. Okay, so I'm going to connect this, so this, this, to my laptop. And then you and I are actually going to turn the Duet display on and see what it's like. All right, guys, hold on one sec. Okay, my friends, so before I do anything, I had to go downstairs and actually get my lightning cable. Now, the one thing I may recommend and something that I'll probably do is see if I can find a lightning cable that's a little a little shorter so that if I'm mounting it, that it's I don't have this big cable floating around. Because the last thing you want to do is hook something into the cable and, I don't know, it tears your iPad off the side or whatever it does. Right, all kinds of stuff that you don't want. But I'm going to show it here, demonstration purposes. So, nice and simple. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is going to just kind of, it just kind of clamps onto this side and it'll hold from the, this, this side as well. So if you want to hook it on there, you can, but I'm going to put it on this side and then simply, I'm going to bring my laptop a little closer. This unscrews so that it mounts on there, right? You get it on there where you want it. So I'm going to set it right there. And all I'm going to do now is just kind of snug this back in. You don't want to go too tight, but snug. Okay. So like that, and there you go. Look at that. You're rocking and rolling got that display up there now this is why you don't want it i probably should have lifted it up a little bit hold on because i need room for my lightning cable so i'll loosen that tad bit bring this up just so i got room for lightning cable and again watch watch your pressure for squeezing it in because you don't want it to damage the screen of your of your ipad or your display all right so lightning cable in this is going inside here now i have mine set up to auto connect as soon as I have this plugged in now, I'm gonna open up the Duet app and voila, it kind of just does everything for you. Now, the other nice thing that you can do and you can turn this on in the settings is you'll see down here, hopefully you guys can see this down here maybe, it actually brings up the touch bar features that you would normally get if you had one of the new MacBooks, which of course I don't have. So, But now I get the touch bar so I can be like, oh, I wanna adjust my brightness, all kinds of cool stuff. This now, and you will want to adjust, see how my mouse goes back and forth like that? It's not quite hitting where it should. This is just going to come up just like a normal display. So in your system preferences. And I'm running again Catalina with iOS 13 or iPad OS, I guess they call it. I'm going to go into my displays, which is down here. And you'll see arrangement. And I'm simply going to move this so that it's a little more centered. So you see how it drops down just a tad? which means this can come up just a little. Nope. Yeah, that's pretty close right there. See how she zips across. There we go. Good. Close that up. Boom. Awesome. So now I got my dual display working. Now here's where it's awesome. You can use this just as a display where you can be like, you know what? I'm going to take my mail, for instance, and mail is just going to get moved over here. Just kind of grab that, right? Put my mail here. Let's just full screen it. Awesome, good to go. You could do it like that if you so choose and be able to work over here. Put your iTunes up there or whatever you need. Awesome. Um, if you click on one of these and you'll see if you click the zoom button, you hold it, you can actually say, you know, exit full screen. Nice. And you can even say if you don't want to move it, just click and say move to built in display and it'll be like, Okay, and it just moves it for you. So a lot of the, almost the same features that Sidecar has in that it in, it kind of sets this up as a display that's completely movable, which is, again, super nice. Now, for me, the biggest thing is using programs like 
Final Cut. This is where this is where the, all the goodness comes in. So I bring this up, and I simply go into like Windows, and I say let's let's uh, do this as a dual display setup. And it says okay, boom. Look at all that. Look at all that extra real estate I'm getting over on the side. So I can come over here and set this up. I like it in this kind of view, which is good. Come on now. Now I'm rocking and. Because of that, I've got this fantastic big screen over here for working with this over on the side. Because this side display, because I'm only using it primarily for all my files, I don't need it on the big screen. I just need it off to the side. This would actually probably be useful if you were just using an iPhone on the side to be able to do this. Very, very cool. Super cool. So then when we're done, quit that. Because there's a lot of us out there that have or don't feel the need necessarily to invest in a new MacBook. My 15 inch right now is still moving along quite nicely. My iPad moving along. This is just going to bring those two together. And because it has that deal right now, especially here in Canada, it's about 13 bucks. I think in the US, $10, half the price of what it normally is. Again, this is at time of posting. And even if it wasn't at this 50% off price, I still think this is a fantastic investment because that's awesome. All right, my friends, this is the best way for you guys that have an older machine like me and an iPad or an iPhone to be able to get that dual display. So that kind of sidecar feature without having to uh, invest in a new computer. Now again, there's a couple of features sidecar has that you may have to pay extra to get, especially like pencil support and things like that. But I don't need that. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as per the usual, we hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Later, guys.